Prime Minister and Minister for National Security Dr. Keith Mitchell says government is trying to source protective equipment for frontline workers in the fight against COVID-19 coronavirus. The Prime Minister was responding to questions about police officers during a press conference on Monday. So clearly the police does not have all equipment, so we are looking, searching for equipment to be able to give them all the necessary protection and of course the health workers who are going out there and have to, to face um, some of the, the people who may be contaminated at this particular time. So yes, we have some support equipment, but not all that we need, but we are in fact looking. Responding to officers who may breach the law and infringe on other people's rights during this particular period of emergency, the Prime Minister said they will face the consequences. Make sure they get it and we, and make sure it reaches us and we will deal with it accordingly. Because while we give the police um, the responsibility and the power to do certain things, we do not give them a license to mistreat people in any way whatsoever. Dr. Mitchell said that complaints of that nature can be brought to the attention of Acting Commissioner of Police, Edwin Martin, and to himself as head of security. He said information can also be given to the parliamentary representatives or other leaders in the community. Health Minister Nicholas Steele said that the court remains accessible for this reason during the limited state of emergency. The courthouse isn't open, but the courts are accessible. And also the AG is moving um, now to, to set up a tribunal because under a state of emergency, limited or not, there is a mechanism for a tribunal as an additional source for individuals. And, and um, I know I've been speaking to the, the chief of police on a regular basis and he has been monitoring as well the, um, that to make sure. The limited state of emergency was put into effect for one week, but this was quickly escalated on Sunday to a full lockdown from 7 p.m. Monday night. That was done to force people to stay indoors and to minimize close contact with others. The public was reminded that the police will take a zero-tolerance approach while the state of Grenada remains on lockdown. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.